Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today. My name is Missy Dalloway, and I am the President and CEO of the Epilepsy Foundation Eastern Pennsylvania. We are so happy to have you join us today. Whether you're tuning in from home to participate in the virtual Walk 10 Epilepsy, or whether you're coming out to see us today at the Drive by Purple pop up party. We are so thrilled to have you in our community, to have you on our team, and to have you participating in this new fun event that we're doing. So, you know, while we are disappointed that we can't have the event look like it normally does in walking together, we're so excited to see you posting on social media, walking around your communities, walking your neighborhoods, raising awareness however you can, or coming out and celebrating uh, with us today safely at a social distance by driving by and picking up some goodies and seeing some familiar faces. Um, to share with you a little bit about the foundation, so our mission is to stop seizures and suit up, find a cure, and overcome the challenges created by epilepsy through efforts including education, advocacy, and research to accelerate ideas into therapies. So what does that mean? Uh, what that means is that we are here to serve and support you. Um, we are headquartered in Philadelphia, but we serve the 18 counties throughout Eastern Pennsylvania with kind of special focus and dedicated research resource coordinators in Lancaster, Northeast PA, Lehigh Valley, and the greater Philadelphia area. So um, we offer a wide range of support services, resources, referrals, and programs. Um, we do monthly support group meetings, educational conferences, a wide range of community building events, um, including our, our walked in epilepsy events. Um, we do one on one consultations with parents and families to do IEP planning and accommodations. Um, our resource coordinator is going to be up next and she can share a bit more with you about our local programs and services that are available to you and your family members. Uh, but more than anything, I wanted to be the first to welcome you to thank you so much for participating in our virtual Walk 10 Epilepsy. We know it looks a little different this year, but now more than ever, we really need your help and your support to come together to do whatever we can to raise awareness, raise those critical funds, and take strides to end epilepsy. Thank you so much. I hope you have fun today. I hope that this is just the beginning. We can't wait to see your pictures and videos. And uh, go team. Thanks again. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Epilepsy Foundation Eastern PA's virtual walk to end epilepsy Lancaster, our first ever drive by purple pop up party. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Carrie McNett. I'm the Lancaster and the Berks Resource Coordinator. I'm your local epilepsy advocate and representative living and working directly here in the Lancaster community. I'd love to share a bit with you about the programs, support services and resources that we offer locally and the ways in which we can get you and your loved ones involved. First, there are monthly support group meetings. Um, if you see our website, you can see all the dates, all the times and all the subjects um, and topics that you might be interested in. Currently, our support group meetings are offered via Zoom. Um, we have Project School Alert, which is a seizure, seizure recognition and first aid training that are done in schools, businesses, with first responders and with law enforcement. So if you know anybody in need of these trainings, just contact us and we can come right out or we can of course offer virtual trainings. We do one-on-one -on -one consultations with parents and families for IEPs and accommodations. We offer six epilepsy education exchanges, which are our annual educational conferences. They're currently being held as web webinars and I'm excited to announce that we have two coming up, one on Wednesday, October 21st, and then another on Saturday, November 7th. I hope to see you there. Um, we have several retreat and socialization programs. Uh, camp Achieve is our week-long sleepaway, sleepaway camp. It's for children ages eight to seven living with epilepsy. We have a young adult retreat, which is a retreat weekend every May for young adults ages 18 through 30 living with epilepsy. And our newest program, our Adult Wellness Weekend, which was held virtually in September. It's designed for adults 30 plus affected by epilepsy or caring for a child or a spouse with epilepsy. Any way that you can get more involved or connected, any way that I can offer help or support, I'm your contact. 
So we will be following up with more information after today. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Now I'd like to introduce a special guest that we have today, and he's our friend here in the epilepsy community. Aaron Wenger will share a few words. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. So I wish everyone is here to join us. It's a beautiful day. We're out here in the stadium. Um, first, let me talk about sponsors. Um, and they're not just sponsors. I mean, these are the, the folks who are providing our medications to keep us seizure free. So we're talking about Greenwich Bioscience, SK Life Science, Neuralysis, ASI. I don't pronounce that right, right? <laughs> and also our local sponsors, CurePen, Herbology, and Zugenics. All right, so um, I guess talk a little bit about my uh, experiences with epilepsy. I've been battling seizures for 20 years now. Um, I don't have what, what they call idiopathic epilepsy. So I've been through every damn test that they have, like the, everything from uh, the MRIs to the EEGs. I've been through the 24 hours, the 48 hours where they wire you all up. I've been through it all. So everyone who's battling these seizures I know what you're going through because I've been there and it's like, it's ridiculous. And then the medications that they give you are equally as damaging as the seizures. It's like that you all of a sudden become forgetful and you slow your words and you become tired all day long. So what I've learned to do is every day I wake up and I just decide I battle this. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to wake up with energy. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to get exercise. I'm going to make sure that I manage my lifestyle the right way because the, the medications that we take for this epilepsy are they, they put you in a state of it, it, you know you're just not normal so basically what i've decided every day about two years ago is just I wake up every single day with exercise making sure i'm managing my lifestyle the right way making sure i'm eating right and now two years i've been seizure free so that's the message that i have i don't know what else i mean there's not like there's a cure and i'm I'm certainly not a scientist or anything like that, but the reality is, is there is a way to get through this and there's a way to manage your seizures as a way to manage it. It's just basically keeping a positive attitude, making sure that you wake up every day and you're doing the right thing. So that's my message for everybody. Um, you know, and now after that, <laughs> I'm going to bring on another speaker. Thank you so much, yeah. Aaron, for everything that you've done for our local Lancaster epilepsy community. Um, as Aaron briefly mentioned, I want to give a very huge thank you to our nationwide sponsors, Greenwich Bioscience, SK Life Science, Norellis, and ASI. And we have a few words from our local rep, Courtney, from Greenwich Bioscience. And he's going to show Hello, everyone. My name is Courtney Jobredge, and I'm honored to be speaking to you virtually today on behalf of Greenwich Biosciences and our entire team. As a sponsor for the Walk to End Epilepsy, Lancaster Greenwich Biosciences is proud to partner with the NEPA for events like this to help people stay connected in this virtual environment. At Greenwich Biosciences, we are dedicated to offering innovative solutions that go beyond medicine. You know what's best as a company researching and developing FDA-approved cannabinoid medicines to help address serious conditions, but also know that patients and families are really at the center of everything that we do. Our mission is to transform the lives of children, adults, and families who live with rare neurological diseases. And we are proud to bring you Unspoken Symphony. With our innovative spirit and community in mind, it brings us great joy to give families a new way to connect with each other through art and music. Unspoken Symphony was created for all those who struggle to express themselves verbally. Inspired by a little girl who can't speak, it transforms art into an original melody, giving the world a chance to communicate and connect with loved ones like never before. And now from our other nationwide sponsor, SK Life Science, here's Stephanie to share a few words with you. Good morning and thank you for joining us today for the Walk to End Epilepsy in Lancaster. Here in Pennsylvania, over 133 people are diagnosed with epilepsy each year. Epilepsy is more than seizures and it takes more than one person to fight it. At SK Life Science, everything we do is with purpose of supporting patients, caregivers, and the entire CNS community. 
We are a global pharmaceutical company focused on the research, development, and treatment of central nervous system disorders and are the U.S. subsidiary of SK Bio Pharmaceuticals based in Korea. In addition to having a treatment approved in the U.S. for partial onset seizures in adults, the companies have a pipeline uh, of eight okay. compounds in development for CNS disorders, including epilepsy. Our mission remains the same. As long as there are unmet needs in the epilepsy and CNS community, we will keep working. We will continue to explore the com complex mysteries of the brain to find answers for patients, caregivers, and healthcare professionals because you're worth it. For more than 50 years, the Epilepsy Foundation has been fighting on the front lines to advocate for and support the 3.4 million people with epilepsy in the United States. We share the foundation's sense of urgency and its deep commitment to addressing the needs of people with epilepsy by increasing awareness, innovation, and opportunities for community connection. We are thrilled to be partnering with the Epilepsy Foundation in the fight against epilepsy here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we look forward to helping you advance the mission to end epilepsy. You and your walk and story matter in this fight. Together, we can make a positive impact. It's time to take action. These walks exist to end epilepsy, and even though these times call for joining hands virtually and maybe not physically, we are proud to join with all of you in taking one step closer to our ultimate and shared goal. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of this special day with you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie and Courtney, for your kind words and of course to Greenwich and SK Life Science, as well as Norales and ASI for becoming our nationwide sponsors. And a huge shout out to our Walk Series sponsors as well, UCB and Synovian, thank you so much. As well as to our vendor sponsors, Herbology, Herbology Zogenics and Cure Pennsylvania. So now on to what we've all been waiting for. We're out here at Clipper Magazine Stadium, so excited to have our first pop-up purple party. And to kick things off, our celebrations, we just wanna give a huge shout out to our top fundraising team this year, Bishop's Dream Team. They raised $2,070 for our local epilepsy community. Bishop's Dream Team united in support of Epilepsy Warrior Bishop and really believe in the power of healing and hope. We cannot thank you enough, Bishop and his family and his wonderful team for showing up and supporting the Epilepsy Foundation of Eastern Pennsylvania. And next we have our top individual fundraiser, Joanne Denlinger. Thank you so much, Joanne. She's a veteran walker. She came out to our walk last year. You can see the photo of here, her with her teammate um, wearing her purple out at Clipper Magazine Stadium. And we cannot wait to see you again this year at a purple pop-up party. And maybe buy, wave as you drive by. But thank you so much for your support of um, our local epilepsy community and for fundraising this year and the previous year. And we cannot wait to have you come out this year and then back to hopefully normal walk next year. Um, but you know, let's not keep the mo let's keep the momentum going. The fight continues. It's October, next month is National Epilepsy Awareness Month. And we wanna keep turning social media purple. We wanna keep posting facts about epilepsy. So if you're out here today with your smartphone, make sure you are snapping photos. Decorate your car, come out, get your swag bag, get your awareness activities, bring it home and make sure that this momentum, that this energy continues into November. So if you wanna post and tag us, you can do hashtag walk to end epilepsy, hashtag EFEPA purple pop-up party, tag us on social media at EFEPA.org, send it to development dot development at EFEPA.org, because we want to see it and we want to share and flood social media with purple. So thank you so much for tuning in today. And we will be posting stories and whatnot throughout the day of everybody that's coming out today. So stay tuned. And I cannot wait to see everybody come out today. We cannot wait. And we are so excited to uh, you know, kick off National Epilepsy Awareness Month with this incredible event. So thank you everybody again to our sponsors, to Carrie Mishnah and to Aaron for um, helping us out today. And of course, thank you to the Barnstormers for her, you know, letting us use this amazing venue. So I'll see everybody soon.